Hi guys, it's me, Delicious Delights. How are you guys doing? Hopefully well. Today's review is going to be yet another oud fragrance. I have been loving oud lately, especially now that the weather has been getting cooler. The summer is over almost. And yeah, I am excited. <laughs> I'm excited for the heavier fragrances and not the citrusy, light, florally things. Anyways, today's review, Le Labo Oud 27. Okay. <laughs> So, let's get this out of paper. I don't want to get it on my skin because <laughs> I am wearing other things at the moment. <laughs> the opening, you guys, is so dirty, so animalic, super, super musky. And I'll just say it, it is a stinky oud opening. It's sour, it's moldy, sweaty. It smells a little bit like a wet basement kind of oud. Um, all of that said though, it's quite fascinating. It's intense and off-putting all at the same time. <laughs> so yeah, the opening is absolutely insane. Um, I think that a lot of people might even scrub it off right away just because of the opening. But don't do that. Be patient. After a few minutes, you guys, everything settles down a lot. It becomes more subtle. It's, it smells earthy and woody and oody still. Slightly musky as well. And it kind of smells a little bit like warm rubber uh, as it dries down. Which is really really interesting it's not off-putting anymore it's not stinky at all I kind of start liking it at this point <laughs> um, there's no leather notes listed I'll go I'll get into the notes later but uh, there's no there are no leather notes notes listed in this fragrance um, but to me as it dries down further it smells quite leathery and woody and oody uh, with a touch of skank and a touch of smoothness and it becomes very very wearable after the opening if you can get through it. <laughs> so the notes in this fragrance are civet, oud, cedar, patchouli, ambergris, musk, aldehydes, uh, vetiver, amber, and rose. The civet to my nose I only get in that crazy opening only and, and then it fades away at least to me. Um, there are aldehydes, as I just said, in this fragrance, and despite the dirtiness that you get throughout this whole entire fragrance, there is like an unusual cleanness to this fragrance as well, uh, which makes it even more wearable. Okay, so after several, several, several hours, uh, this fragrance dries down into a faint, warm, woody, dry, leathery oud with the slightest, slightest, slightest touch of sweetness in here. I'm not really sure where the sweetness comes from. Um, I don't think there are sweet notes in here, as if I remember. No, there aren't any. Um, but yeah, uh, on my skin, it gets a little bit sweet. And the main focus of the dry down um, in this fragrance is on the woodiness. And it becomes a safe and versatile fragrance, uh, despite the opening. <laughs> but all in all, you guys, uh, don't be afraid of this fragrance, especially the opening. Give it a chance. It does become more friendlier after the opening. Uh, performance is excellent on my skin. And um, if you're looking for like a daring uh, oud, well, no, let's say because it's only daring really in the beginning. Um, if you're looking for a beast mode oud that has a very interesting stinky oud opening but settles down for the rest of the day into a very wearable leathery woody scent, this is definitely one to try. I, I do like this fragrance. Um, I'm intrigued by this opening, seriously. <laughs> it is one that uh, will kind of knock your socks off, I think. Uh, definitely one um, to test for sure. Uh, if you like oud fragrances, if you haven't already, but yeah, those would be my quick, quick thoughts on Le Labo U27. I hope you guys enjoy my review. I'll be back with more videos soon. See you guys. Bye.